Hey it. friends, Miss Joan here. I've got a great book to read to you today. But first, I just want to tell you how much I miss you guys. And I miss your smiles and I miss your hugs and I just miss all your stories. So Miss Ashley's been talking to you about um, the water cycles and outside. And one of the things that we get to see a lot of when it rains a lot is worms. I'm going to read you The Diary of a Worm. The author is Doreen Cronin and the pictures are by Harry Bliss. And this is my niece, Avery. She's gonna be listening in on this book with us today. Sorry, I get to the front page. All right, you know what a diary is? A diary is when you write about what you've done all day and you kind of just keep a list of things you've done and the ways you felt. So this is the diary of a worm. March 20th, mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. When we dig, number two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel, help the earth breathe. Number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. March 29th, today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. Don't the spiders know how to dig? First, all of his legs got stuck. Uh, I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. Oh, I give up. Tomorrow, he's gonna try and teach me to walk upside down. March 30th, uh, worms cannot walk upside down. Why? Good thing they had a web to catch him. April 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug a little deeper. Did you guys hear something? Uh-oh, they're looking for worms to fish with. April 10th, it rained all night and gr the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry, I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I finished, I ate that too. April 20th, I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed! I love when they do that. May 1st, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today, I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning, aunt. There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I stood there all day. May 8th. I had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. May 15th, I got in a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard, he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? May 28th, last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. I have a worm. June 5th, today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. Oh, you're very talented. On June 15th, my older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. 
spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. On July 4th, when I grow up, I want to be a secret service agent. Spider says I'll have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th, three things I don't like about being a worm. One, I can't chew gum. Two, I can't have a dog. Mommy, can we keep him? Please, you're so cute. Number three, all that homework. July 29th, three good things about being a worm. One, I never have to go to the dentist. They don't have any teeth. Two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. And three, I never have to take a bath. Oh, who's my grubby little boy? August 1st. It's not always being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But, like Mom always says, the Earth never forgets we're here. Wow, those worms have a lot of work to do, don't they? Well, thanks for coming and listening to me, and come back later, and maybe we'll Bye. do a fun activity with worms. See you later.